Last time we heard, Fred at the hospital waiting on the stork. Yes. So there could be a little Fred running around here soon. And or that's a Frida. A, or a Frida, I guess that's true. We're not sure. Anyway, we wish them yeah. well, and we hope to hear something from them soon. In the meantime, let's hear from Dick Ray. Hi, Dick. Okay, Neil. Lots of anticipation tonight with the Khalils. A week from now, we will be full speed into the Winter Olympics, but now, as always, it's our usual Sunday night sports extravaganza we call Sports Locker. Fred Khalil will be along hand in a few minutes with Robin Miller of the Indianapolis Star. Their special guest is the new man in charge of the Colts, Ted Marchabroda. Plus, you'll find out what former IU basketball stars Jay Edwards and Lyndon Jones are up to these days. But first, time for the day in sports, and what a day it was for the Pacers, equaling their season's longest winning streak by beating Denver on the road 128 to 122 big day for chuck person 29 for the good guys today detlef shrimp will get the ball inside for two the pacers led by 13 in the fourth quarter chuck person with another three off the dish from michael williams chris jackson with 26 will take it all the way into the hoop for denver but they could get no closer than six points in this game pacers win their third straight 128 122 michael williams with the running jumper there. Let's move on to the forum. Bulls and Lakers. Scotty Pippen on the drive there. Rematch of those NBA finals of a year ago. AC Green with the jumper there for the Lakers. Pippen inside and is fouled. Gets it to go. Michael Jordan, another big game. 33 points, 11 assists, 8 rebounds. And Bill Cartwright will round out the scoring on the long outlet pass. It's the Bulls winning their second straight game. There goes the long pass. 103. 97 on the board. Another NBA news tonight, Mike Schuler is out as the LA Clippers coach. Matt Calvin will be taking over as the interim coach. Meanwhile, New York's five game winning streak is snapped by Golden State, Washington over Orlando. Cleveland beating Minnesota. Milwaukee over Seattle by 16. Miami beat Charlotte by a bunch. And Portland by a bigger bunch over Sacramento. Well, doctors in Salt Lake City, Utah, say Rick Majera should be able to resume coaching soon, and that his feigning spell yesterday was not a life-threatening situation. The former Ball State coach had to sit out Saturday night's Utah-New Mexico game after he passed out earlier in the day. He's being treated for a urinary tract infection. He should be back on the sidelines for the Utes next game. There's no truth to the rumor that the coach was spotted near Pebble Beach today. These are actual whales getting close to the action here on Wish TV. Jeff Sluman needing this putt on the 16th to maintain a one-stroke lead. He doesn't get it to go, so Mark O'Meara gets a birdie here to force a three-way tie. It would be O'Meara and Sluman into sudden death. And O'Meara had the magic going him on the final hole. This one wins it for him. Mark O'Meara winning today at Pebble Beach. Jay Edwards and Lyndon Jones were part of the most successful high school program in Indiana history. They shared Mr. Basketball honors and were teammates at Indiana University. Vince Welch reports that the two are once again trying to work their magic. Lyndon Jones and Jay Edwards, Vince Welch, Wish TV, Sports 8. And our hats off to Sports 8 photographer Dennis Goins on that story. Jay Edwards' old NBA team did make a coaching change tonight, as we told you earlier. The L.A. Clippers fired coach Mike Schuler. They replaced him with Matt Calvin. We'll be back with our Super 8 high school basketball poll and much more after these messages.